Am I the asshole? For high-fiving a stranger who humiliated my BF? My BF and I go to the climbing gym regularly. He is really into it and I just started in climbing a few times a week. He's stupidly competitive about it and quietly insults beginners who are not as good which makes me feel self-conscious because I'm a beginner. Last night we were at the climbing gym again and he was doing a V6. There was about 6 people taking turns on the problem probably because it's a newly installed route and they were all failing. Then a girl came and flashed it. She made it so easy but at the end she didn't hold the final hold for 5 seconds and my BF called her out after she was done. Holding the last hold for 5 seconds is supposed to be the right way of finishing a route but she was doing it so easily she definitely could have. I think he was just being salty because she did it, when he couldn't. She laughed and told him he didn't even start the problem correctly and walked off. I gave her a high five because she was walking towards me and did amazing at the problem and knocked my BF off his high horse and she was surprised but high fived me. My BF turned to me and gave me a WTF look and wouldn't talk to me the rest of the night. When we were heading home he ranted that I couldn't be trusted to watch his back if I chose to take a stranger's side over him. I was shocked that's what he took from the climb and told him she shouldn't have nitpicked her when she clearly climbed it correctly and he got mad and argued I was supposed to take his side over people I don't even know. Not the asshole. Your boyfriend sounds exhausting to be around. Not the asshole. If your boyfriend doesn't like being called out on being a petty sore loser, he should stop being a petty sore loser. Not the asshole. Is your BF 10 years old? Not the asshole your BF sounds incredibly immature, insecure, and rude. Is he always like this? Not the asshole. He's showing his true colors by laughing at people who aren't as capable or experienced in what he is and that's a sign he's forgotten what it's like. Props to you for putting him in his place. He needed that whether he realizes that, irrespective of if it came from you or not. Not the asshole for bouldering, I was taught two hand touch for finish. I'd quit the 5 seconds thing is. He's being salty and honestly his behavior is concerning. Dude needs therapy. Not the asshole. BF sounds like an obnoxious jerk. Also, couldn't the high five be just to congratulate the girl on how awesome she did? BF is extremely insecure if he takes other people's achievements as personal insults just because he can't do what they do. I'm sorry to say this op, but your BF sounds awful. How badly does he treat you on a daily basis? I'd break up now if I were you. He sounds exhausting and mean and you guys aren't married or anything. I couldn't stand to be with someone like that. Not the asshole. Why are you with this guy? Not the asshole. If BF thinks that being in a relationship means you have to agree with him and back him up when he's an ass, that's a bit of a concern because that means whenever he's an ass you'd have to be an ass too. If you'd given him a public telling off for being an ass, that would be different but that's not what you did. Duh. Your BF sounds insufferable. Not the asshole. He was being petty, jealous, and a bit sexist calling her out. None of his business, and she told him off. Not the asshole. And honestly, do you want to be wasting your time with someone who shit talks strangers to try and make himself feel like a big man? That's right up there with being rude to waitstaff. No reason to do it and no second date. Not the asshole. Dude needs a reality check. Not the asshole. Toxic masculinity ruins the party yet again. Not the asshole but your BF is. Dudes like him are the reason I don't go to climbing gyms. She handled his bullying perfectly and so did you. BTW refusing to speak to you withholding communication as punishment for bad behavior is indicative of narcissism and abuse. Not the asshole but I like that girl and I'm glad you high-fived her. Boyfriend sounds lame though. Not the asshole. I think you should date that girl instead. Not the asshole. But why are you dating a toddler? Not the asshole he humiliated himself by well being himself. Why are you with a guy that feels the need to put others down so he feels superior? People like your boyfriend are why it's difficult to try something new for a lot of people. Not the asshole. Also, I'd cite current IFSC rules about sends. Dissing a clean send just because he can't do it himself is bad sportsmanship. Lol fragile male ego. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but your fragile prince of a man sounds like a lot of work. No one should be that much work to be around. Not the asshole his actions have consequences. I hope he stops his irie. Lol your bf sounds like a little shit. What kind of person makes fun of beginners? Unless he rock climbed out of the womb, he was a beginner once too. 
not the asshole or maybe justified T.A. But you weren't high-fiving her because she humiliated him, you were high-fiving her because she was a badass and was the first one to make it through. He just sounds insecure. He's salty. He should get over it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your precious BF has his feelings hurt that someone else can do something he can't on a V6 no less, hand over mouth. Easy not the asshole. Toxic masculinity at its finest. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. BF sounds rather insecure and jealous. Not the asshole in this situation, but you should really question why you want to be with someone who acts like this. He got owned by a girl. That's his issue. He's the asshole. Not the asshole I climb myself and your BF is being a D. This is not climbing etiquette. You as a beginner are already more into the rock climbing spirit. We support and uphold each other. We don't act like cause. Also another issue is that you should take my side, even when I'm a cock knob and to other people that don't make sense. You should hold each other up to be better people. Not support each other being Oz. I almost dated someone like that, then I got a headache from talking to him for more than 20 minutes Lamau. Not the asshole. That's some serious sister power you threw out there my friends are major climbers and your BF's attitude is counter to the ethos of the sport. I hope for your sake that this is the only avenue he displays our behavior. Be careful with this one he has insecurity issues, and guys like that rarely make good long-term partners. Not the asshole. Not the asshole your BF has a fragile ego. He needs to understand that the woman was just trying to solve the challenge and move on with her life there's zero reason to take offense to that and call her out on it. She only responded with a clap back because he wanted to be salty and vocal about it rather than saying awesome work. Hate to say it but he deserved it. Not the asshole your BF is super toxic and insecure, and makes other people not want to climb, which seriously sucks. The 5 seconds thing is bullshit anyway, in international climbing comps you just have to touch both hands on the last hold in control. The judges validate if you're in control or not but they're not counting to 5. In the gym you know if you've done it or not so who cares what anyone else thinks? Not the asshole. Your future ex-boyfriend sounds like a lot. Not the asshole. I climbed a lot at your age and yes it was competitive. Men and women. We all wanted to be the first to nail a particular route. But when someone else nailed it first. We hollered and cheered and celebrated their achievement. High fives and hugs all round. WTF is this small dicked pettiness? Nope. Your BF is showing you who he is. Not the asshole. He hated being beaten by a girl. Simple as that. Hey, I say this because it took me a really long time to learn it. If your boyfriend is making fun of beginners and is bitter at those better than him, he's actually an asshole. Take this as the red flag it is and find someone who supports newbies and makes you feel unafraid to make mistakes around them. You'll be amazed at how much better life can be. Not the asshole. Dump your boyfriend and start dating her. Not the asshole. Is there something good about this guy that makes him worth his sexism? Slappable jerk on TikTok and Dig has a hilarious series called Insecure Boyfriend where he plays guys exactly like this. Not the asshole. Your BF sounds like a big baby. Nothing screams insecurity like berating other people trying their best, especially beginners. His criticizing her was trying to discredit her climb because she did better than him and honestly was likely motivated by sexism as well. Not the asshole. Major insecurity with a touch of misogyny vibes coming from the boyfriend. From the tone of your post, it seems that you are aware of it and don't like it. Your boyfriend wasn't on a high horse he was being pathetic and small, and trying to make him feel worse won't cure this issue. Not the asshole. What's he saying about you to other people he goes with? Also, he started it. She was sticking up for herself and you saw that. I'd have high fives too. Not the asshole. I don't know all the lingo unfortunately, but if she made it to the top then he shouldn't try and diminish that accomplishment on a technicality. Maybe some would consider her response rude, but I doubt she would have criticized his technique if he had simply kept his mouth shut. He managed to make himself look like a sore loser all on his own. I suppose it's easier to be offended by your actions than it is to take a hard look at his own. I didn't realize you was dating a bratty six-year-old. Not the asshole. He's taking this why too personal. If she killed it, she killed it and deserved a high five. Shouldn't have been a dick about it. Your BF is a toxic, insecure asshole. Why do you think you don't deserve better? Not the asshole, good luck.
How could he ever trust you if you always took his side even when he is wrong? Lowell 5 seconds? Does he actually sit at the top of a problem for 5 seconds every time? That's the most insecure thing I've heard. As like a first grader you learn that you're not gonna be the best at anything. There's always someone better than you. Does he also watch pro climbing and tell you how he can totally do that? Not the asshole. In my experience most people will congratulate someone who sends a problem that a whole group is working on. You did just that. Not the asshole. 37 yo male here, been climbing for 14 years. Your boyfriend is my least favorite person to have in the gym. Climbing is so much better with everyone cheering each other on. Your boyfriend is an asshole, and his behavior is disgusting. I wonder what would have happened had it been a make who flashed it? Not the asshole. He's stupidly competitive about it and quietly insults beginners who are not as good. Uck, this is just toxic. No, you do not need to take his side when he is being a condescending, superior jerk insulting people. She called him on his own hypocrisy. And did an awesome climb why shouldn't you offer support for that when someone just tried to tear her down? Your boyfriend's judgmental mean streak is going to be a bigger problem though. You are not supposed to take the side of anyone when they a being a misogynistic, arrogant asshole. You can be competitive and gracious. This isn't about you having his back. It's about a huge character flaw. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. As a female climber it took me so much to get over the initial thought that people were silently judging me for how well I wasn't doing. It's men like him that make climbing gyms uncomfortable and take away from the beauty of rock climbing that it's about personal betterment more than anything. Glad he got shown up for once, and sad he couldn't take the heat of it. I'd also say it's a red flag that he makes fun of beginners. Good luck on your climbing journey. Who the hell calls out not holding the final hold for 5 seconds? This is not normal behavior at rock climbing gym. From my experience rock climbing gyms are a little more convivial than that. Not the asshole. Your boyfriend should go smoke a joint and chill out a little.